Firstly, when working with your project map and view map, you must first understand the difference between the two. Firstly, your project map and your view map is stated in your navigator. If when working in your project map, this is your model building space. This is where you can build your walls, your whole structure, and use solid element operations, use hidden lines which you might not want to show on your layout. This is where you have fun and do all kinds of tricks to make your model appear ready. In your view map, this is where you prepare your views for layout and set up combinations. So each section, elevation, site plan has its own combinations and model set views. This is where you set them up and save them to your preferences. In your view map, if I want to clean up my drawing and say remove the landscaping, I say layer, hide layer, and it cleans it up a bit. The cars and the trees are not there anymore. However, now that I've edited the layer combination, when I click on settings, get current view settings, the layer combination turns into custom. And I would ideally not want that to happen because if I say OK here, in your elevation, your landscaping are back. So you just change them for that single view. So ideally, if you set the layer combination back, ideally you'd open up your layer settings, switch off the desired layer, and say update, so it updates your layer combination, and say OK. Now when I go to settings, and I say get current view settings, the layer combination is still right, and my landscaping isn't there anymore. Even when I go to my elevation now, my landscaping disappeared. And that's how you avoid getting a custom heading under your combinations. This doesn't only work for layer combinations. Even if I want to change my model view, as you can see, I've got cover fills on my drawing. If I want to change it to only line drawing, I say document, set model view, model view option, and I want to override my full display. Click override full display, cover fill to no fill, and I say OK. And now my drawing changed into a line drawing. Now when I go to settings, current view settings, my model view option says custom. And if I say OK, I can avoid that by going back to my model view options and saving the custom I just created to 05 elevation. Say store, and I say OK. Now when I click on settings, get current window settings, my model view options says 05 elevation and the custom disappeared. Another thing to be aware of when working in your view map is the fact that if you don't click on get current view settings after you've changed a major setting, every time you revert back it'll be unchanged. For example, when I click on my north elevation and I set my model view to elevation, it gives me warning signs that something has changed. However, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go to another elevation, another elevation. When I go back to my north elevation, nothing has changed. Thus, if I change my model view 
and uh, go to settings, get current window settings and press OK. Then I go back to south elevation and return to north elevation, my settings have stuck. This is because I saved my current window settings which makes it ready for the layout. Now, if I want to set up different views in my view map, all I do is I click on Project Chooser, Show Organizer, and in my Organizer, on the left hand side, I open my Project Map, on the right hand side, I open my View Map. Say I want to copy over my stories, copy over stories, and I Rename it to Sketch Plan Stories. And I put these floor plans in a folder called Submission Stories. I'm going to drop them in there. Now I've got two identical views with both floor plans and now I can edit them to look differently on different types of plans. And when I go to my sketch plan stories, I don't want to see my dimensions nor do I want to see a cut full on my walls. So first of all, I'll go to my layer combinations and let's just create duplicate this one and I'll call it sketch plan. Switch off the appropriate layer. updated, press OK. Go to settings, get current window settings, the layer combination changed to set sketch plan. And when I change my model view, I don't want to see cut fills. Let's make it a solid foreground. And now I say OK. It's the desired effect I needed. So if I go back and save this model view, store it as 06 sketch plan it's okay when I go back to my settings and get the current window settings my layer combination is now sketch plan and my set model view options are as sketch plan as well now when I go back to my ground floor the settings as I set them to fit submission standards are still there and as a concept design and sketch plan, this is how I set them. Now when you go to your layout book, I've already placed the ground floor plan, the one I need for submission. And uh, now I'm going to drag my sketch plan ground floor plan over. As you can see, there's a clear difference between the two. And that is how you work between your project map and view map, get rid of custom in your combination sets, and that's how you create new views for your view map.